Guys, E. Balmy here. I wanted to uh, take a, an opportunity to uh, to show you something new. I've uh, had some uh, limited opportunity to get out and use it, and that is the Super Chronograph from Steinart Sensing Systems. The Super Chrono. This is the first acoustic shooting chronograph. Uh, guys are wondering, what the hell are you talking about? Well, uh, if you've seen a chronograph, most of you would recognize the one that looks like a couple of TV antennas coming out of it and uh, some little umbrellas over the top and you have to carefully shoot through those rods and it, it's able to measure the speed of the bullet traveling through it. What the Super Chrono is doing is it has some acoustic sensors front and rear of it and well the the one important thing is that it needs to be a supersonic round as the bullet passes the chronograph there is two sonic booms and it is able through the magic of electronics and math to measure between the, those two points and give you the either uh, uh, meters per second or feet per second of the travel of the bullet. Unlike the traditional style, this is it. You're looking at it. Uh, the only thing else that you will need is a tripod. I already have the, uh, the mount for mine on there. And uh, just uh, quickly uh, show you the, the system that I'm using. There you go. Now you want to have a, you want to use a bipod. You don't want to or a tripod. You do not, yeah, you don't want to use a bipod either because it just fall down. You don't want to just set it on the ground or set it on a board or something because that can uh, cause a, a, a reflection of the, the shot to have it not sense right. By having it off the ground in the air, it isolates itself. To, uh, set up on these could not be any easier. First of all, you're going to get uh, a, full, a full set of directions, an Allen wrench for the, uh, the battery uh, panel, all the do's and don'ts, uh, relatively, relatively easy. Basically what you're doing is you're going to put this on the ground uh, 10 feet out in front of where you're shooting, or you can also have it in various spots downrange. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment, but let's just say that where the camera is, is the front of your barrel. You're going to want to have that downrange uh, at least 10 feet. And then what you're doing, and unlike your traditional one where you have to carefully shoot through the, uh, the arms and not hit them, this thing has a huge window over it. Uh, a window measuring 31 and a half inches by 51 and a half inches. For me, I, uh, I had it set up uh, less than two feet uh, below being parallel with your barrel. And yes, that is the one and most important thing is parallel. Uh, let's just say that you have a target set up downrange four feet off the well say you're standing the the barrel is at five feet and the target is at five feet and this is sitting uh three feet off the ground so there's exactly two feet difference between the center of your target the barrel and where the chronograph is sitting what you're going to do and you'll see what is on here which looks like gun sights is used exactly for that purpose you will take this and you will pick a point two feet below 
where your target is or whatever your distance is. The distance between where you are holding your rifle barrel and where this is sitting, you will aim exactly that distance below your target downrange so that the chronograph and your barrel are exactly parallel with each other. And for the most part, that's the, uh, the in intricate part of setting it up. As far as functions go, it is very straightforward. You power it up and you will see uh, this over here is your shot total, your battery power. Uh, four digits for either your feet per second or meters per second. Most of us will be using feet per second unless you're striping the cat puss. Uh, there's also uh, you have the reset and uh, you also uh, have a, uh, an average. It's able to uh, log up to uh, 99 shots and it is able to accurately uh, log up to 600 uh, rounds per minute as far as uh, a reciprocal rate. Other than that, that's, that is pretty much it. Unlike the uh, optical uh, chronographs, uh, this one being acoustic based, uh, it doesn't care what the weather is. doesn't care if it's sunny, cloudy, windy, any of those things. As long as you are shooting uh, supersonic uh, ammo, this will have you covered. And like I said, uh, you're going to want it at least 10 feet out in front of you to uh, uh, for your uh, your proper setup but you could also have it halfway to your target or you could have it all the way down at your target that's where I would recommend that you you know don't shoot your super chronograph that's about the only time that's uh, <laughs> that it becomes a, a somewhat of an issue now for me uh, this was uh, very important to have a chronograph I uh, recently uh, started getting into, uh, into reloading and when it comes to saying putting together something like uh, this uh, Alco bullet head and uh, some uh, Lapua brass uh, for my JP uh, 308 uh, this is uh, ultra long range precision ammo and you're, you're going to want to be able to uh, make sure that you're accurately uh, getting your uh, your uh, measurements or your recipes for your rounds set up, able to keep uh, you know put a, a set of say ten uh, loads together, go out to the range and shoot it and see if you're getting uh, in the uh, the numbers that you're looking for, or if maybe uh, you need to bring it up, or there's a, a possibility that your your loads are uh, too hot. Uh, for me. Uh, I did not get the opportunity to uh, to shoot any of these to see where they're sitting. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the the only thing that I had with the other day that uh, gave me any kind of a, a benchmark number was uh, I have some Underwood ammo here for the 50 AE 325 grain uh, jacketed hollow points that uh, they say uh, were 1475. Uh, feet per second. Underwood is a is an awesome company, and they are uh, uh, usually their numbers are are pretty close to what they are. Uh, I did uh, fifteen. 58 15 28 15 40 and 15 22 you got try this I think this stuff is even hotter than those reloads
after you uh, say do a uh, do a shot of uh, of nine rounds or you know maybe your ten rounds or twenty rounds or whatever it is, you can hit the uh, average and it'll give you the the average of uh, of those of those particular uh, shots. So you're going to be seeing uh, obviously a lot more of this. This is going to be a tool to help me into uh, uh, checking uh, different ammos regardless if it's uh, reloaded stuff or factory stuff you know maybe it's uh, confirming what some companies uh, say their ammo is and seeing if there is uh, is close to those uh, those those numbers in the real world uh, how, how they uh, they all stack up as far as a comparison to uh, maybe what the manufacturer says so if uh, you have a traditional chronograph and you're sick and tired of uh, shooting the uh, the arms or uh, having to shoot through what is a relatively small window and you would like uh, the freedom of something that uh, isn't going to uh, be susceptible to the uh, lighting conditions and your weather conditions and a cloud going over uh, with a lot easier setup uh, point and aim downrange the same distance below your target that this is sitting uh, below being parallel with your barrel pretty straightforward I was immediately up and running straight out of taking it out of the package and just aiming it downrange at my target otherwise uh, check out uh, check out my link uh, below if you're interested in picking one of these up uh, they are being sold through my friend uh, John over at Huber Concepts. You click on my link, it'll send you right over there. And uh, right now, they, uh, they are getting a pre-order list together and uh, hoping to uh, have them uh, uh, on hand by the uh, end of the month. Uh, we're running out of time, so... Uh, but it won't be it won't be too long so there you go that is my uh, my first impressions and my thoughts here on the uh, super chrono from uh, Steinert sensing systems I have to say uh, uh, in all honesty I've never used the traditional style with the uh, with the the little limbs and having to shoot through the uh, through the center of it but I really like the idea of having this there with uh, absolutely no fear of hitting it when it's up close to you now if you want to know what is going on all the way down at your target and you want to have it set up down there uh, you might want to take a little precaution to make sure that uh, this is uh, safely uh, below but not you know less than the minimum uh, numbers there the uh, so you're still you're still hitting that uh, 31 and a half by 51 inches and trying to get it right in the middle there so you're you're making sure that uh, of accuracy but overall uh, I have to say I'm uh, I'm pretty impressed with the Super Chrono how simple it was to take it out and get it all set up I mean uh, what's the bottom line here put it on a tripod and aim it at the target that you're going to be shooting at uh, just make sure that you're below it the same distance as it is below your rifle. That's it. Otherwise, guys, I will uh, I'll have uh, more info and more numbers and uh, and more when I start actually uh, getting uh, some ammo and some time to uh, to get up to the uh, get up to the range and uh, see this guy in uh, in action. So, there you go. If you have any questions, I'll try to get them answered for you. But if you're sick and tired of uh, a little tiny uh, a shot window with the fear of uh, shooting your chronograph, uh, seriously take a look at the Super Chrono from uh, Steinert Sensing Systems. Thanks, guys. Ebo me out of here.